a lot has been made uh, about the offseason and the Vikings offensive line, which has always been a point of contention. And general manager Kwesi Dofa Mensa added zero significant outside free agents. Uh, they ran it back with a number of in-house guys. They spent zero goose egg D'Angelo Russell draft picks on the much maligned offensive line, and they're just banking on health and continuity to carry today. And in the first preseason game, is a little bit rough uh, against Seattle. Now, four of the five starters did not play. Only Ed Ingram from the first unit was in there for 18 snaps. But overall, it's kind of a rough day for the second and third team offensive line. They allowed 15 pressures on Nick Mullins and uh, Jaron Hall. Two sacks, both on Hall. But remember, he he was very poopy. Mm. And the running backs uh, only averaged 3.08 yards per carry, which is barely a B. It's not even acceptable uh, by Asian parents. But uh, I, I know it's very fashionable. Uh, to freak out and base the entire season off of one preseason game that didn't involve four out of five starters along the offensive line. But tranquillo, tranquillo, tranquillo. Yeah, that'll thing. Relax, calm down, and it wasn't a good night for the offensive line. And throughout training camp, the O-line has had its share of issues picking up some of the exotic pressures. Uh, actually, erotic pressures mm, uh, that Brian Flores and crew are, are coming up with. But it, it's better that they're getting the this baptism by fire now, and hopefully it will carry over into the regular season. And also, like we said, don't judge things until you see the first team offensive line. And Brian O'Neill back uh, in full team uh, drills uh, as of Sunday, which is a fantastic sign. Other than that, I... I'm not worried. Like I wish that the the backups had performed better, but it's not uh, it's not a deal breaker for me. And it does all come back to Ed Ingram. And I know that's very fashionable poo poo on Ed Ingram, and he didn't have the best uh, PFF grades. But eyeball test wise, in real time, I actually thought that he played quite well. He did allow one pressure and one hit, uh, and uh, I think he did uh, operate well in run blocking. So I think overall, it's something to grow on. Uh, and I'm. I'm not worried, but also what what other options do we have right now? And in terms of personal performances uh, against the Seahawks, I thought that Brandle played well. I thought that Schlutman played well. Uh, Ole Udo had some good, bad moments, whatever. But Darren Lowe had some ups and downs. He allowed a sack. Uh, Christian Dallara allowed a sack, too. Uh, Zach Snyder, Josh Sokol were okay. So I'm not... I'm not. I'm not freaking out. Like I, I, I'm not in. Uh, I'm. I'm not DefCon four or whatever the highest one is. Although a lot of people, are, uh, a lot of Vikings fans are like, oh, same old offensive line. Just what I told you. You know, far crazy. All, all, all that stuff. But it, it does come back to. Kirk Cousins, where last year, 46 sacks, career high pressures, uh, and we saw from the quarterback documentary just the the uh, the pounding that he took last year. It's a little bit rough, but. They are, they are banking on continuity up front, where uh, Derisaw uh, missed time twice with injuries uh, or with uh, concussions last year, and Christian Derisaw is rising up to be one of the best offensive uh, tackles in the game. O'Neal come back from that Achilles. Ezra hopefully can get things together in year four. Bradbury ascended, uh, but he also had a back injury too. Now, it, it does come back to Ed Ingram. I... Just because Quasey drafted him in the second round, I think that he d- is still going to be on scholarship for a little bit, a lot more than Andrew Boo Jr. And I, I think that Chris Cooper and Kevin O'Connell, West Phillips, think that they could work with him, yes. But I would still sign Dalton Reisner uh, just as depth, just as a just-in-case uh, spot here uh, where, I, again, like I said, where I think Brandel played well, Allen Ali played okay, where it's like I, I would still have Reisner. I would still prefer Reisner, come on up for the Reisner, uh, to potentially replace Ezra or step in if uh, Ed Ingram keeps stepping on Kirk Cousins' feet. Uh, That old thing, man. But, uh, again, everyone's freaking out about their performances in the first preseason game. I'm worried about this. This is all that I'm worried about. And Derisaw is rising up and becoming one of the best young left tackles in the game. Ezra hopefully can get his ish together. Bradbury last year became a top 10 adjacent type center. Hopefully he can rise up a little bit more. And I I do think that confidence is a big thing uh, in in this game, as well as having an offensive line coach and Chris Cooper who understands what's going on here. You know, Cooper, an undersized guard uh, coming from that Bronco scheme as well. Uh, Ed Ingram, I think, will greatly improve in year two, especially in pass blocking. And O'Neal coming back from the Achilles, hopefully he resumes his spot as uh, one of the best right tackles in the game. So, the Vikings tackles are there. The interior offensive line is where I have issue. Uh, That's why by hook or by crook, get Dalton Reiser in this building. I don't care if it's for depth. I don't care if he has to be the highest-paid backup guard in the league. I, I I do not care. 
I don't, I do not care. Get him in here, so you have a little bit more uh, of a better backup plan and a little bit more peace of mind on the interior offensive line. And I, I think that honestly, this could be a top ten-ish, top eight-ish uh, unit if knock on all the wood stays healthy and they get continuity going. So we can go from there. But overall, I know it's fashionable to uh, freak out and have hot takes, uh, but. Just because the the Vikings second and third team offensive line had issues on the road against Seattle in the first preseason game, I don't think that's indictment on the first team. That's really all that matters uh, at this point. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, freaked out about the Vikings offensive line? Question mark. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.